watching News 8. Well, I'm excited to welcome Katie Kovar and Ron Camp from the Challenger Miracle Field of Greater Rochester to the program. As always, great to see you guys. Thanks, Mark. Uh, closely aligned with a fun event coming up uh, this weekend, September uh, 14th and 15th, the Rochester Garlic Festival. This is formerly the Webster Garlic Festival. We've done this event in the past. We've talked about it. Uh, different name, but a lot of the same fun, Katie, right? Yeah, it's going to be awesome. We, uh, we're really expanding the festival out to bring a lot of you younger people in. We've got a great music lineup. We have tons of food trucks. We have a kids' play area. Um, we're really trying to tap into everyone this year with lots of amazing vendors, and it's really exciting. This is happening at the uh, Webster Parks and Rec Center, uh, Chiota Drive, 9 to 5 on Saturday, 10 to 3 on Sunday. Ron, we know there's garlic there, right? <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, well, you got to love garlic. Yeah. I mean, everybody <laughs> loves garlic, right? right? And, it, and, and I think that's the... Uh, It'll be a big draw. What is, the, what is it about? I mean, it started as a garlic festival, and it, you, you've expanded these other elements to bring, you know, sort of a full family uh, event together here. But how did it take hold I in Webster to begin with? Well, and, it, it and all, now evolved to, it to all this. started with the Miracle Field. You know, how it's going on six years. I think I met with you and had this great idea to yeah. build a complex for kids with disabilities and adults uh, to participate in sports and a group of guys from local. Uh, uh, organizations, uh, service organizations got together and said, hey, we don't do a garlic festival. So the first year we got the majority of the proceeds and then uh, they did it for three years and they said, you know, we're all volunteers. It was tough to keep it going. Took a year off. So uh, Katie has, has really taken a hold of this uh, event. Katie, the proceeds, as Ron said, will, will benefit the Miracle Field. How will they be utilized at this point? We know uh, uh, youngsters are out there and having the chance to play, but th there, there's more work to be done and yes. the need will be ongoing. Yes, we're really excited actually. Our playground just um, broke ground. The construction has started. We're only in phase one, so we have two more phases to go after this. But more than that, I mean, we have a lot of athletic programs that are available for kids all around the Rochester area, so we'll still need to sustain those programs as well as the field. The exciting thing about the Garlic Festival tying into that is so much of the Garlic Festival will directly benefit us from the proceeds from the food truck, the admission to the festival, the ATM fees. We want this to become a bigger event and that's why we actually decided to name it the Rochester Garlic Festival to draw people not just from Webster but yeah. from all over the county. I mean uh, there's, there's kids, I just delivered a a trophy to a young man 46 miles away that plays at the Miracle Field in, in Canisius. So we, we want people to come from all over. That's what it's all about. Absolutely. Thank you both for coming in. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. Rochester Garlic Festival. Yep, there's garlic, but there's a lot more than that. There's music and lots of things for kids and the whole family. Tickets, get them at the door. You can pay cash or credit, but lots more information online as well. RochesterGarlicFestival.com is the link. We'll share that on our site as well at rochesterfirst.com.